Hi, I'm Tom Nugent from Cosmall Electronics. Today we're going to talk about uh, our battery chargers when you first set them up to install in a vehicle, specifically to talk about the dip switches. This is our Auto Charge 1200, uh, recently redesigned. Uh, and you notice it has a dip switch in the front, uh, and also has information on setting the dip switches on the top of the charger. Our 1000 and 2000 series also has a dip switch in front and information on how to set it. The Auto Charge 1200, when all these dip switches are set in the off position, which they are, when it comes out of the box, they're set in the off position. All the dip switches are down. That means the charger is set up like the 1200 we've been selling for 20 years. It is identical. So if you don't want to make any changes, leave all the dip switches in the down position and don't touch it and it's the 1200 you've had for years. So if you want to make a change, for instance, there's a lot of newer types of batteries out there today. So if you look at on the front panel or you can go to the instruction book and it has the settings printed in the manual, which is some times easy to, to read. So, for instance, we have settings for different battery types. So on switch number one and two, you can set for lead acid, gel cell, AGM, or an Odyssey battery. So I'm gonna show you how to change this from a lead acid, as our standard charger has been for years, to a AGM battery. So here we're going to set the battery type to AGM. So after looking at the cover, I am going to go to move dip switch 1 to the on position. So 1 and 2, 1 should be on and 2 should be off according to the manual. That is setting your battery for AGM. Now on the auto charge 1000 and 2000 series all the switches in the down position the charger is very similar to the charger we've been selling for years except for one option we turned off the battery saver portion of the unit to get more output of the charger so this charger has a 15 amp output to charge batteries with the battery saver off you have 18 amp output charger to charge the batteries. Okay, this is the Auto Charge 2000 PLC and I'm going to show you how to adjust the dip switches for the battery saver. Currently the dip switches are all in the down position. So number five is the battery saver. Notice the black square box is showing the position of the dip switch. So it is now in the off position like it shows in five. But I want to make the battery saver come on. So I'm going to move section number five, move that up. Now this is in the on position. Notice the black box in the screening now equals what this is in the on position. Now the battery saver is enacted and this will give you a three amp output for accessories. So that's some information on our dip switches and how to set them. There will be other videos explaining um, if you want to set up three-step charging, if you want to set up your parasitic load compensation on these chargers, there'll be future videos showing how to set that up and the reasons for that. So thank you for joining us and understanding on how to set your dip switches.